Hey guys, it's time to talk about new unique items and one of the items that was showcased before league launch that I got really hyped about but then later got disappointed and now I'm hyped for this again and it is Utula's Hunger Unique Body Armor. It is numerically better than Calm's Heart if you stack Calm's Heart and then all the other items have like around 70 flat life. However, it does have its own drawbacks but also I think it, it brings new life to all the or some niche builds pun intended uh, so this body armor the main focus is that it gives up to thousand maximum health and that is a lot because comes heart which has no sockets and, and pretty much nothing else only gives 500 and this gives twice more than comes heart however the big drawback is that it only does that if your other equipments have no life modifiers and this is important life modifiers not just flat life but life modifiers so you cannot, the other items cannot have any like regen, we cannot have a life recube, we cannot have leech, life on hit, it cannot have um, life recovery rate, nothing. In addition, this also has a recover uh, up to 3% life on kill. This makes uh, clear speed, uh, clearing maps uh, a lot smoother and uh, a lot less stressful, I guess. And it, it does have a pretty decent amount of armor. Now, where I see this body armor being useful is it's, it's probably going to be a, a more of a budget item because if you got like very high budget, you could probably still get more uh, more life by, by getting other items with, uh, with life. However, this body armor I think is going to be very useful to builds that need multiple unique items that don't have any life modifiers. So I can take an example, Held of Thunder builds usually run these setups so, so like Crest of Desire helmet where you place your Held of Thunder has no life modifiers Algor Mortis is the, the best uh, unique gloves for Held of Thunder build it gives the most damage, no life modifiers as well and then two Storm Secret rings also no life modifiers when you look at this it, it already stacks four items that have no flat life at all so getting enough life on the remaining items is pretty challenging and you very often run with two-handed uh, stuff so there's no shield for extra life as well i guess you can still get blocked but getting a recovery life on block is, is then harder so builds like that that stack uh, many uniques and not necessarily like the strong builds but just kind of more niche builds i think will benefit from this body armor a lot more than uh, builds that are already good other builds that have to get certain amount of damage in order to even be viable usually end up running out of passive points to get or, or just on the travel points lose too much uh, to get enough life so this build is also example that i was doing and i'm gonna make a video later about this uh, using rakiata's dance and uh, slayer i pretty much could not get enough life although i could get on a higher budget but my budget is usually lower and i try to do on a lower budget and i couldn't really get enough life without this body armor I was sitting a bit over uh, with the normal body armor, close to 4000 health. Right now my items do not have any life. When I put this on and change my items to not have any life modifiers, boom, immediately over 5.3k life. And uh, I'm not even done getting all the life modifiers. So this body armor kind of saved the build because I was I was having fun playing this build but I couldn't really survive so can't really clear properly without dying. As soon as I swap my items and put this on, immediately feels much better and now I can actually start uh, running retter maps and farming retter maps. It is still a bit sketchy, you still need our defensive layer, you cannot just rely on life. And this build still doesn't really have defensive layers, so at least getting enough life was very important for this build. Now I keep thinking, there are so many unique items that have no life modifiers that could be much more interesting. We rediscover those uniques with this unique in mind, like the timing ring. The timing ring is pretty good, it, it does give all resistances and gives a lot of elemental damage for attacks, especially if you can apply all the, uh, these three different ailments. And, uh, but it doesn't have life, but it also has no life modifiers. So you could even stack two of these. Another thing, you can still get life by getting strength, because strength is not life modifier and uh, two strength gives one flat life. So you could even use like bubonic trail and uh, put in abysuals. Although I did hear that um, the Tom Fist is bugged and it wasn't really working. But uh, bugs aside, 
Uh, you could also use like a, a Tomfist, fist which also has uh, a visuals and a visuals can have life they do not count as equipment equipments are only only these that that you put in your equipment slots and not equipments that you put in the passives or in the equipments and another another good reason to use this is usually items that have good stats but don't have life uh, don't have flat life and don't have open prefix to craft life are usually also cheaper and uh, this makes this bad armor even more desirable because you can buy cheaper items and you specifically don't want life so you, you can actually even buy cheaper items for your builds when using this body armor now this body armor can only be obtained from uh, from the Kitawa tribe in the trials of the ancestors i'm not sure if it's in the last match or it can be obtained like i never obtained any of the uniques from uh, doing the league mechanics yet but it's also very cheap unique it's like a one or two here sneak if you want a higher life roll of course it's gonna be more expensive like this one close to one divine but uh, this is also with the high armor roll so i bought this earlier on uh, for a bit cheaper than that yeah for something like 30 40 years i bought it uh, with the higher life roll and you probably want more than like one percent recover life on kill so you would want like two life recover on kill so yeah this build that i'm doing uh, also is using heat shiver and the timing so that's two items that have no life by default and uh, there are so many good uh, circle of rings you know those that uh, held rings like um, held of ash held of thunder held of uh, ice rings uh, held of purity rings that have no life modifiers as well just make sure that you don't get any implicit and if you have some rares that have like open suffixes or prefixes after you finish crafting it don't be tempted to exalt slam it because you may actually ruin your item if you slam some kind of like plus two life on hit or i don't know life on kill and the item is going to be ruined then you, you won't be able to use it with this body armor so yeah that's about it the, the body armor is pretty simple there, there's not much to talk about it uh, but i think it does open up new possibilities for even older builds i kind of want to go over all the uniques and rethink build uh, build ideas with them with this unique in mind so let me know in the comments below if you got some interesting uh possibly build ideas with this body armor with some older uniques and that's gonna be it for now thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye